this video, we're talking about repeating decimals and how to express repeating decimal numbers. We're going to do a couple examples where we use what we know about repeating decimals to rewrite the decimal number. And in this first example, we've been given the decimal number 1.333333. And we have this dot 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 to indicate here that these threes go on forever. So there's literally no end to the threes at all. They go on into infinity. There's an infinite number of threes. So how do we express that besides writing 333 dot dot dot? And where do we cut off the threes. It's kind of hard for us to express a number like this. So what we can do in this kind of a case is use repeating decimal numbers to rewrite this into something that's simpler. And when we want to simply express a decimal number where something to the right of the decimal place repeats like this, we just draw a line over the repeating portion. So in this case, because our threes go on forever, we could draw a line over just one three because the single three repeats forever. We could draw a line over two of the threes because the set of two threes repeats forever since it's always the same number, we could draw a line over one or two or three or four threes, however many we wanted to, but it's conventional to draw a line over the smallest number of repeating values that you can. So in this case, we would want to say this is equal to 1.3 draw a line over the three to indicate that the three repeats. Even though that's really the same thing as 1.333 repeating, because that 333 would repeat over and over, this would give us 1.3, and then if we repeat that three, you know, we would just write out threes like this, dot, dot, dot. And in this case, we would get 1.333, repeat it again, 333, repeat it again, 333, like that, even though these are the same thing, it's simpler to write this one, just 1.3 repeating, than it is to write the second one. So we like to indicate that just the single three repeats. So this is a different way to express this same number here, but you can see that it's a simpler way. It's a more condensed version. And that's why it's more convenient to write repeating decimal numbers this way. What if we have a larger number like this, where we have 454.54545454 on forever? That's what the dot, dot, dot indicates. This 545454 pattern never ends. Well, in that case, we couldn't just put the repeating bar over the five because that would indicate 555555 forever, and it wouldn't account for the four. So we need to put this repeating bar over the five four so that it tells us to repeat both the five and the four. And then we have 0.54545454, and that 54 repeats itself on into infinity. And it's important to note that even though we have this 54 to the left of the decimal place right here, we don't include it in our repeating sequence. So we just say that this is equal to 454.54 repeating, and we leave everything to the left of the decimal place alone. We can also do this the other way. If we're given a repeating decimal number and this bar indicates that we have some sequence that repeats, we have 6.786 repeating, we could just write this as 6.786, 786, 786, dot 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 to show a more expanded version. Obviously it's more convenient just to write the repeating bar here above the 786, but this is what it really means that this 786 pattern goes on forever. Same thing here, we have 14.32. That's the same thing as 14.32, 32, 32, because the bar indicates that both the three and the two repeat the group together. So we get 323232 32, 32, dot 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 on forever. So that's all it means when we talk about repeating decimals. You can either condense a decimal like this by indicating which number repeats, or you can expand a decimal like this by writing out the repeating sequence.